With BPPV affecting the anterior canal, we can do the deep head hang maneuver. And what that is simply, the setup is we have the patient in long sitting, and I've lowered the head of the bed 30 degrees. So what we'll do is look, I'll have you hold on to my forearm here with both hands. I'm gonna put my hand behind his head and my forearm against his upper back, just like with a lot of the other tests and maneuvers. And then on three, we're gonna lay him back as quick as we can. Okay, on three, one, two, three. Take my hand out from underneath. So his head is 30 degrees below horizontal. So it's tilted back. And then what we do is when he's dizzy, we'll also see nystagmus uh, with the infrared goggles on your um, desktop display or laptop display. Then we wait for the dizziness to go away. Once it's gone, we tack on 30 seconds. And then the next step, let's come around here, is we bring his chin to his sternum as quick as we can, okay? So we'll bring it up on three, one, two, three. And then we hold that position until the dizziness and endostagmus go away. Once it's gone, we wait an additional 30 seconds. And then we sit them up, okay? So we'll say the dizziness and endostagmus have gone. Let's sit them up. One, Luke, you can hold on my arm here. One, two, three, and up. All right, so there you go. That is the deep head hang maneuver for BPPV affecting the anterior canal.